So this is the PowerProbe Tech white demonstration board. And there's a lot of things you can show on this board, even with the traditional power probes. You can show checking voltage, checking ground, reading different voltages. Notice no red light, no tone. I have to be within half a volt of the battery I'm connected to. As soon as I drop down more than half a volt, no light, no tone. Um, you're able to power up lamps with power or ground. You can spin a motor. You can demonstrate checking continuity. Obviously if there's an open circuit there'll be no response. So a lot of things you can show on this whiteboard alone. But its greatest strength is for showing off our ECT3000 short and open finder. The goal of this tool is to locate shorts or broken wires in the vehicle before you begin tearing the car apart. Tracking down shorts and broken wires can be a technician's worst nightmare. You can waste hours, sometimes days, chasing a wiring loom through the car, pulling seats and paneling and carpeting the whole way. The goal of this tool is hopefully we can locate where that short or break is before you begin tearing the vehicle apart. Pretty simple concept. Uh, it utilizes this transmitter, powered by the vehicle's battery again. This will put a signal into the circuit. You will basically track that signal with this receiver and at some point you lose the signal is generally where your short or your broken wire is. So let's get this set up uh, on this board and we'll show you how it actually runs. So on the white demonstration board you'll notice there's one, two, three lighting legs and they all come off a common circuit breaker all coming from the battery. And we're going to cause a short on one of these circuits. We'll cause a short here by pressing this button. You heard it pops the circuit breaker. It's blowing the vehicle's fuse. It takes out all the lights. And lighting circuits can be one of the worst nightmares on vehicles because it's every corner of the car, the interior, are all covered by the same fuse. So where do you start? We want to locate where that short is on the vehicle without tearing everything apart. So, real quickly, this is the transmitter. It has a 20 foot lead. And we'll connect to the vehicle's battery. We'll bring this around the back. Now the transmitter's powered up and it's putting a signal out here. You can use a variety of adapters. We have alligator clip adapters, back probe adapters, piercing adapters. Whatever it takes to connect to the circuit. In the kit you'll notice things like light bulb adapters. So uh, a lot of people think you're stuck plugging into where the fuse is. You're not. You can plug in at the component side. You can tap in the middle of the circuit. The signal is going to go from where you start to where it hits the short or the brake, uh, regardless of where you start. So even if you're working on a big vehicle, maybe you're working from both directions, narrowing it down that way. Um, for the demo here, I'm going to place you up top. It's down. And I'm going to pull this circuit breaker. And we'll plug directly onto the circuit side of the circuit breaker. Now that light and that tone, which you can turn off, is indicating yes, you do have a short somewhere on that circuit. Maybe you're in the vehicle moving things around, uh, moving wire harness, you cause the short to go away, you would hear it change to that other tone. So now the signal's going into the circuit. And this is your receiver, you'll turn this on. And you'll notice it's picking up signals on all of these wires, to a certain extent. <coughs> and there's some similar tools on the market, and this is kind of where they, they come up short. Probably the most important step when using this tool is this sensitivity lock button here. 
So once you've powered, you've got the transmitter injecting the signal, you've powered the receiver on, you find a spot where you got a good strong signal, and then lock yourself, set the working distance you want, and lock yourself in. Now you won't get any false signals off the other wire, and it's only going to indicate off the wire that actually has the short. And notice that arrow, that's telling me the direction to the short, so no matter how I hold the tool, it's going to keep me on track. <laughs> now to really get the best results, you have to understand how this picks up the signal. The short signal is picked up by an antenna in this area of the tool. The open circuit signal is picked up by an antenna in this tip area. The open circuit signal is slightly weaker, so we realize you might have to dive into wire bundles to continue tracking. That's why this has that point on it. And so let's see, we're picking up the signal, and it's also directional. It reads off this bottom edge, and notice it indicates this way, but not when I hold it that way. So obviously you don't have nice lines to follow when you're tracking a vehicle wiring, but that kind of tells you the direction to go. Uh, if you're moving along, moving along, moving along, and you lose the signal, just check it didn't change direction on you. Oh, there you picked it up again. Move along, move along, move along. And you've lost it again, and it's nowhere else around there. You can be pretty confident. That's where your short or your broken wire is. Real quickly, in a matter of minutes, you're able to locate at least a lot closer where that broken wire or that shorted wire is on the vehicle and you haven't taken anything apart yet.